Hi everyone, this is Demetrius here from OB Pixel. Thanks for joining my channel. Have you ever wondered if it's possible for you to mine cryptocurrency on the Apple M1? Well, let's take a little bit of a deep dive into how to use your Apple M1 and mine Ethereum coins the easy way. Right, let's begin. Right, let's take a few steps into this process. Step one, we're going to get a crypto wallet. Now you can use any wallet you want, but I'm using this coin only wallet just for ease of use. You can download it from the internet. The link will be in the description of the video. There are different versions for the software. If you click the download button, you'll be able to see there's one for Android, one for iOS, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Today, we will pick the Mac OS version. Once you click the download, it'll download into your downloads folder. Open up that folder, either from the browser or from your finder window. Double click the DMG file and it'll start the installation. A little install window will appear. You need to take the .app file and just drag it into your applications folder. This will install the Coinemi wallet. There is a little bit of customization that we need to do for this wallet, so bear with me. Okay, you'll go into your applications, start up your Coinemi wallet, but you'll notice you'll get an error message on your screen saying you cannot open up the file. It's because Apple cannot read the file for malware. So go into your settings in your, in your, win your Apple machine and just make sure that you can allow the app to be installed. You'll see this standard message that pops up. Just say, yes, I would like to open up the file. And when you click on open and close the security and privacy window, Coinemi wallet will open up. Now you'll create a new wallet. This is a little bit of a process, so bear in mind this is going to take a bit of time. You're going to be given a number of words in a particular sequence. Either write those words down or preferably take a photograph of those words in that sequence. Make sure you don't lose the piece of paper or the actual photo of these words. What will happen is you will then use these words in the next stage to complete the password recovery phase in a way so basically what they're doing is they're checking to make sure you know that particular sequence of words and that you are the owner of this wallet so basically now what you're creating is the unique hash that is going to be used to store your wallet on this particular system now it's going to take some time so you're going to be going through all those words and putting them in the right sequence make sure that you do it correctly once the sequence is complete, you'll have to confirm it one more time. You can see it's taking a little bit of time. Of course, I've hidden away my details. And once you're complete, you will be ready to begin with the crypto wallet from Coinomi. Let's wait for a little bit till it's finished. Shouldn't take too long. Okay. And now we're about to complete the task because it's confirming the recovery phrase. And hopefully you've got everything in the right order. And once you're done, click on the next button. Right, next part of the step one is to create a password. Now, the minimum requirement is 10 characters. And I'll show you how that is visible if you put in a password and then you confirm the password what you can do is delete the password from the top and the bottom field and you'll see the red writing will appear underneath the field saying listen you need to do a minimum of 10 characters my suggestion to you is use characters up to 14 and plus 14 so anything above 14 would be ideal and more secure this way okay so enter the password that you would like to create for this particular wallet. Then confirm the password as well. Sometimes it's good to just show the password at the top just so you can show you're typing it incorrectly. And then click next. And then we can choose a particular coin we wish to add to the wallet. We can start with all kinds of coins in the beginning, but for now we will pick Ethereum and then click next. You'll have to go through the disclaimer. I would suggest you read the legal notice and the terms of service and make sure you're happy with them and then click accept. Right, now you're ready for step two. Now step two is to get and configure the miner. 
you know, that little minion that is going to go and do all the work for you. I have that hyperlink in the description in the video. You'll be going to the GitHub and download the ETH Miner TAC M1, which is basically the ETH Miner specifically designed for the M1 chipset, the M1 firmware. And when you click on that website, you'll go down to where it says releases, you'll click releases, then click on the M1 precompiled binary, and this will download the necessary little file for you called ETH Miner TAC M1. Right, close your browser down. Now what we have to do is we're going to have to go into the downloads folder and we're going to have to take that little file and add it to the applications folder. Now you can either copy and paste it in there or just drag and drop it. Right, now it's not going to run straight away. What we have to do is we have to give it permissions. So open up your console or your terminal. Make sure you go in into the applications folder. So change directory into the forward slash applications and inside there go and say chmod plus x against that file and that will allow you to allow that file to be executable we're not done yet though we still have to do a little bit of work if you actually even begin to try run it you're going to notice that it's not going to work specifically because once again apple cannot check it for malicious software right so you need to confirm this particular application to be accessible by the apple system by changing the security and privacy settings and just say yes i allow the eth miner tac m1 to be executable now if you do try run this now you'll notice that it comes up one more time with a warning and click open we're done now we're okay the only thing we need to worry about now is we need to pass it some arguments so at least we know the application will get past the security of apple Step three will be get a mining pool. Now you can do this in a number of ways. You can go to the different mining pools around on the internet. Uh, I've got the hyperlink for the poolwatch.io. Very useful because you can see all the different mining pools that exist online. And we're going to go to the standard Ethereum mining pool and that is located in the following hyperlink so if you type in your browser ethereum or ethermine.org you'll be able to get access to the ethereum mining pool that pretty much the entire world will use right at this stage you're now looking at the mining pool that we're going to be using and at this location we will also be using this to in stage five later on to be able to get paid basically now step four let's begin let's start mining with the eth miner but there's a little bit of work to do so what i've done is i've done a little bit of work up ahead of schedule for you and i've pre-done the work for you the eth miner will be activated using the tac p capital p for the stratum and then what you're going to use is the colon forward slash forward slash what you will need is the Ethereum wallet address from the coin wallet, the Coinomi wallet that you did, you used earlier. Then you'll apply the dot worker name, so you can give it a worker name if you like. And then the mining server and then the Stratum server with its port number. So go back to your Coinomi wallet, click on receive, grab the actual address, paste it into this line, then type the dot or the period, Give a name for the worker, so in my case I just gave it M1 worker. Use the at sign. Now we need to be specific about which mining server to pick. So because I'm in the UK, I'm going to pick the EU mining server. If you go to the ethermine.org forward slash start, you're going to notice a whole bunch of servers online. I'm going to pick eu1.ethermine.org with its stratum port number triple, uh, quadruple four. So add that to the end. So you're going to be saying at eu1ethermine.org colon 444. Then what we're going to do is we're going to save this little file as a script file in the applications folder. And I'm just going to call this mineeth.sh because we need to call it as a bash script so it'll execute. Now go back into the applications folder and actually open up this, the terminal and change the permissions from the mineeth sh file or the mine eth.sh file so that you can actually execute it and start mining 
as you can see the mining process begins this will take a bit of time uh, a couple of minutes so that you can see the mining process kicking in and occasionally you're going to see a couple of jobs being posted what will happen is once you start going through the mining process and you get successful in mining a particular value or an amount of a coin you're going to see an area that says accepted so one of the ethereum jobs was accepted and you would have mined or gained a reward for your work for your efforts in mining now of course i wouldn't be doing this all the time on my apple mac m1 because it is using a certain amount of power but looking at the statistics at the back of the system i noticed that the entire process for what i'm doing right now is only going to be taking about five watts of power so i'm not too worried now we're going to go and watch this particular screen as the status changes and you'll notice now i'm highlighting one of the ethereums that was mined successfully and it says it accepted. right so now you're complete with step four and let's take a look at step five take your coin noemo address plug it into the top and press submit and you'll be able to see the ethereum coins that have been mined what you also need to do is go into the settings so that you can deal with the payouts in the future change the setting of payment threshold to 0.1 and also you're going to need your public ip address of your system that you're currently using for mining so just open up a new browser tab then basically go to google if you like and type there what is my ip address and hopefully get your external ip address plug it into that settings area and click submit and it'll update that particular ethereum uh, mining website so that you can actually proceed with future payments as you can see your dashboard will show you a hash rate it's not very high right now and of course your m1 worker is shown at the bottom as an active worker at the end of the day try and find the right way of actually mining coins and try and stay as energy efficient as you can thanks everyone for your time please subscribe to my channel and I hope you've enjoyed mining Ethereum on your Apple M1 today.